guys and welcome back. This is Joe Zarkley and today we're diving back into some more Better Minecraft Plus. Starting off today, I want to introduce you guys to the mean green monster from outer space. I hope you guys get that reference, but I absolutely love this. Ah, oh, I love the Mousies mobs. I absolutely love this particular mob. Ah, and it's name tagged. It should stay here forever. I know I'm giving it weakness, but you know, it's name tagged forever. I also went ahead and upgraded this, added a few more chests, which uh, gives me a bit more storage because I was actually running low, believe it or not, even though I have tons of chests in there. Also our dragon, 100% rideable now. Look how fantastic this is. 100% our dragon is ready to go and is rideable. However, I'm not going to be riding it just yet because we have some things that we need to work on today. I want to uh, kind of focus on a few things um, starting today, and that is going to be getting to the abyss. There's a few different things we have to do to do that. Um, one is fighting the void worm. Um, so Alex Mob has this thing, the Crimson Mosquito. We ended up getting this thing from a quest. Now, believe it or not, it's actually a little bit more difficult to get this mosquito larva than it may seem, as you do need the Crimson Mosquito uh, nose, and then you also need a maggot. The maggots come from breeding flies, or killing flies. Uh, they have a chance of dropping it. This comes from the Crimson Mosquitoes. Crimson Mosquitoes, you can find just around the Crimson in the nether. Um, or you can actually get a fly into the nether and thus get it to convert into this. That is one of the, the many ways of doing things. Um, in my previous Better Minecraft Let's Play, I did all of the steps required to get everything directly through Alex's mobs. So if you want to check that out and you want to know how these steps are, I did it over there in that Let's Play. But today it's actually going to be pretty easy because everything's sort of set out for us. If we check our quests, all we have to do is collect this, which is a capsid. That's all we need. All we need is a capsid, and we put the Crimson Mosquito inside the capsid, which we get from just getting a Void Crystal, which I'm going to show you how to do today as well. And then we just summon the Void Worm, and we get all of the things that we need to go to the Abyss. Um, you cannot craft the Obsidian here, the Unstable Obsidian. You have to get it via the crafting recipe, and uh, they only give you 12. So you get 12 of them. That's it. Um, I guess if the portal ever breaks or you don't have any, I guess you're going to have to spawn them in because you cannot craft them at all uh which normally would have a crafting recipe uh but i guess that was the way of gating that dimension because you can get pretty powerful just by going in the abyss and it's not that dangerous honestly early on it's really not you can go down and mine and you're pretty much safe while you're mining so why do i have tnt in my inventory well let's take a trip to the end and i'll kind of show you now um if we take a trip to the end let's head to our in city I have flight now, like full creative flight, right? And I have 92 levels. Um, it may not look like my experience bar is moving, but it is moving, and this does use quite a bit of experience. Um, it, it's just really easy to get experience in this pack um, with some of the stuff that I have. So if, I, if you're wondering how I'm able to fly, it is particularly from the grace of the creator, which we made last episode. And, uh, like I said, it's using my experience. Now, it doesn't consume experience if you're by a beacon. So, if you're within range of a beacon, you are going to be absolutely fine. Let's pull up our map. Let's see if we can't find one of these zones. I think this right here is one of the places that I, uh, I actually need to go to. So, let's head in this direction. And we are going to make it to that structure, which uh, is actually from... I don't remember exactly the name of the, the mod... I'd have to I'd have to look it up. We'll see it when we get there though. This right here is the bad boy. Now, the funny thing is is we actually don't need the capsid like 100% because all you have to do is kill these things. Yeah, the uh the endophage. You just kill them, which I mean they're they're incredibly gross looking. You kill them and they actually drop the capsid. So we do have the capsid which is capsid 19. Oh man, a hilarious reference, I guess. Kind of hilarious. I don't know if it's hilarious or not. I, you know what? We'll just go with that. 
Anyways, I have to get rid of these spawners. Now that we've created a flight, I guess we really don't have to worry too much about uh, shulkers because they're not going to be bothering us too much. Yeah, you can take these bad boys out. I guess you have to use an actual sword. Wow, they prevent you from using a bow on these things? That's rough. Yeah, I guess we can just use that. So I want to get rid of as many of these as I can. I think uh, that's it for the spawners. Um, but we also, I believe we need a nether star. Oh, that's right. We need a nether star to spawn this thing in. Oh, we're going to have to kill the wither. I'm going to go ahead and set a waypoint here so we can get back. But yeah, we have to, we have to kill the wither. So I am 100% ready to fight this bad boy. Here we go. Let this thing spawn in. Man, I mean, it's it's just a simple wither fight. Got it directly under the portal. It'll stay there. You guys know. You guys know the drill by now. Or at least you should know the drill. Let's get some crits on this thing. Look how quickly we can chop this bad boy away. Nice. We also ended up getting the core shard. So click on another reactor. Oh, this is that pyromancer thing. I still am very unfamiliar with the pyromancer mod. But that is that is a thing. All right, time to head back. Now that we have the nether star, we're ready to fight this boss. Now all we have to do is activate this right here. This bad boy spawns in. And honestly, we're gonna kill it just by putting TNT here. <laughs> that is uh, all we have to do. We kill it with TNT because we can't actually physically hurt this thing. Um, so you, you can't do any damage to it. It doesn't do any damage to you, um, either. You just kind of just sit here after you break the spawners. But yeah, the, the problem is, is it takes a little bit of time with the TNT. Just kind of space them out. You'll be good. And just like this, it's dead. And it should end up dropping. Oh, we have to kill this. You know what? That actually probably helps a little bit in making sure that you actually get the void crystal because that was an issue. Um, you could kill it, and the TNT explosion would actually destroy the Void Crystals. The fact that you get four, though, I remember having to go through and killing four of these guys just to get this, because this armor is actually pretty decent for what it is, and uh, to get the full set, yeah, you need the actual uh, four of these crystals. But because we got those crystals, we've now unlocked this quest, if we go back, and as you can see, we do get a capsid. I'm going to show you how to use this capsid. It's actually pretty cool. We take this, you don't have to do it here, but I'm going to do it here, and you place the void worm, or the, the worm in there, it's going to do the little jiggly bit, oh, and they changed the animation to it, the mysterious worm actually moves now, it's not just some funny looking block, or funny looking squiggly worm, oh, it's like actually moving, oh, it's in my hand, oh, that's a bit disturbing now, <laughs> I love, I love Alex's mobs, mobs though, it's, 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 Quite great, quite great. So here comes the fun part. I mean, we have this this mysterious worm in our inventory, but as Chad said, as our uh, our achievement said, it says we must kill the child. We we must destroy this. So how do we do that? We toss it into the void. Uh, well, without our magnet, because we can't do it with our magnet. Toss it in there. Goodbye, squiggly worm. Put the magnet back on, and we have thus summoned a monster. A big monster that is hopefully making its way up here. Oh, yeah, it's slowly generating. Oh, boy. Yeah, let me get onto land uh, and try to avoid fighting this and that giant guy over there. Ow. So, yeah, let's shoot it. The best way to kill this thing is honestly shooting it in the head. You split its body, you're going to have some problems. Like, if I shoot it here... If I split it in two, if it'll, yeah, that's what you don't want to do, but I want the advancement. <laughs> I think you can split it into even more pieces. But yeah, now we have two to kill. Which is really fun, right? To deal with. Oh, you want to you wanna come fight me face to face? Well, let's go. Oh, I just broke it into even more pieces. I did not. Okay, I didn't mean... Okay, I didn't mean to have four of you. Oh, this is... This is getting nasty. Okay, come on now. What am I even... <laughs> I think we killed one of them. 
Okay, this is where it becomes a mess. <laughs> All right, one of them we can one of them we killed, even though there's more. Okay, that one's dead, and then I guess we killed the main. Okay. This one is dead as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. Now we have to find where the actual piece is because they kind of float in the air and they're really hard to see. Hopefully our magnet can pick them up. <laughs> it's just insane. Where's it at? Um, We're looking for the beacon stuff. That's what we're supposed to get. But I think it's floating up in the air somewhere. Why does it got to be so difficult to find? Aha! Here they are. Like I said, they're they're in a really weird place, but there we go. And we get some more experience. So we should, yeah, we end up getting the beak and we also get the void worm eyes and uh, pretty interesting. Oh, but this is not interesting. What in the world am I looking at? What biome? This is the twist biome? If that's not creepy, I don't know what is, but this was the perfect place to, oh man. This is the perfect place to find it. It was nice and open. Um, so now that we have this, it basically gives us full reign into this dimension. So we get to collect all of our good stuff here. But the big part is, is we get this and all we have to do is make a few things and we're ready to go into the abyss and become even more overpowered. So at this point, all we have to do is basically make the uh, translation letters. These are going to supposedly unlock stuff, but uh, what we were basically using this for is to unlock our quest. So down here in the last chapter, we're gonna need this to make ourselves the portal activator. And then we already have um, basically the stuff to go into the abyss. We just need to go into the abyss, uh, create ourselves a portal for it. And hopefully the portal doesn't break like it did in the last pack, where if I would go through it and come back through another one, it would put a portal in a different location. Kind of frustrating, but hopefully it's not the same this go around. Let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to go ahead and I, could, I guess place it right here. This seems to be a pretty decent place for this. Yeah, we're going to put it right here on the end of this pier. And I think, yeah, I have to skip blocks because I don't think we have enough to fill the corners in. Or do we have enough? Four? Barely. <laughs> You're given 12. Uh, so this activates the portal. And so we should be able to go in. And... Oh, I'm ready to go in. Are you guys ready to go in? Let's do this. So this is the abyss. Uh, we actually spawned underground. Underground in the abyss. Um, what Y level? Y level 15, of course. Uh, we are literally, I mean, we're actually in the perfect area to go mining. Uh, a little bit of lava down there. Looks like some fire ore down there. Like, you can't beat that. Look how fast we could break this. Insane. Um, so yeah, fire ore is actually a ore from this dimension that I do want to get a hold of. And of course, I get scared. Nice. That is one of the, uh, the effects of being in this dimension, by the way, is you just, you get blindness <laughs> and things like that. Um, so yeah, there, this is the dimension where you're going to find a lot of the Loran stuff. There's tons of plants that can literally kill you. Um, I'm going to hopefully make my way down to about Y level 11, like the same place where you would mine for diamonds normally. And like the goal is to just mine, you know, just to really just strip mine this entire area out. It's gonna be so much easier probably. Oh, this this stuff's gonna prevent it. All this blue stuff's insta-break. This right here, more abyss ore. <laughs> Look at this. Abyss diamonds, abyssal diamonds. A, a whole bunch of them. Yes, please, I'll take all of that, thank you. I'm also uh, being affected with uh, night vision. Normally it'd be pretty hard to see, but we do have night vision, so that makes it easier. I don't have to place torches or anything. Oh my gosh, more fire diamonds. I am actually looking for unknown 
Um, so unknown ore is what I'm actually looking for. Uh, but there's tons of ore. There's tons of stuff that you can uh, go after here. I think what becomes some of the most overpowered stuff is some of the uh, the rings. Um, so the abyss has all of these different rings and stuff that you can craft um, using some different materials. Some require plant materials. Uh, for example, the ring of invisibility, it requires these phantom essence, which you get from phantom souls, which you get from killing phantoms, um, in a specific biome. The rings are going to require a bunch of Loran, which you can find in this dimension by, by plants. Um, and then you also need unknown gems for most of these as well. And also unknown is what allows you to make some really nice swords and other things like that, that you can get to progress through and through and through this pack. There's a lot of like armor progression and stuff in this. And speaking of unknown, there's some unknown ore. And I'm gonna need quite a bit of it. Well, this also didn't take very long. This is another portal um, for, for in which uh, I believe the chests are in here. This is another portal that will take you to another dimension uh, from within the abyss mod. Um, this right here, why can't I break the snow block for some reason? Yeah, there's. Sh I should see some chests. Yeah, there's a chest. Really hard to break snow block. But yeah, this chest should have the key in it. Yeah, it's got frozen with the keys. Perfect. Um, so yeah, this right here is how you get to this dimension. You just light this portal, and we have another portal. That's the ice dimension. There's really not much to get in here, other than it's a quest line that is related to some of the quests that you can find above ground which speaking above ground i probably need to head back all the way for which we came from our main portal and let's see let's head all the way back and i find where we even got started i think it was right here and i think i should just make a a, a hole that goes all the way up to the surface <laughs> oh wow this is a big ravine i kind of want to look around maybe there's will be just some exposed ore here. Yeah, like these these right here. And then is there anything else like any unknown? Oh wow, this is just massive down here. I am definitely looking for some unknown ore though. But anyways, I'm gonna be making my way all the way up to the top. So I know it's gonna be pretty dark, but I have made it to the top. Um, now I definitely wanna get a waste stone here. And we'll just call this the abyss. And this is right next to the hole that takes us down to our portal, which I probably won't ever use other than mining anyways. So the abyss, perfect. That is our portal. And uh, we probably want to set a waypoint here um, using our maps. It looks so much different on this map. Okay, so there's already a waypoint set. And we're good. All the, as you can see, it says uh, we have the Roka nearby that we can fight. If we light this up, which is weird because it shows all different kinds of mobs now. So we have some that are hostile, some that are not hostile. I think those blue ones are uh, passive, which are actually entities. They're players. Let's see. And then this thing is just a bird, which is a yeah, good thing. This is a wolf. I'm not seeing the Roka anywhere, even though it is nearby anyways. What is, what is this thing? A night hunter that is apparently teleporting me. Nice. Which we can easily just two tap. Most of these things uh, should be pretty easy to kill, um, especially since, I mean, even with the sword that we have. Like I said, this division isn't horribly dangerous. I mean, some of the mobs can be pretty dangerous early on, but like, it's it's not super bad. So, what am I actually looking for? Well, this right here is ice ore. You're gonna find this scattered out throughout these uh, these sort of biomes here. It can be in the walls. Um, we're also gonna need lots of the Loran, similar to mining underground. I think I have a few unknown ore now. Yeah, I have three unknown gems. Let's see. We should be able to. Kill this wolf. There's an abyss guard. Like, all these things are coming after me. Um, you want to keep an eye out on these plants, too, because some of these plants, like these right here, drop the Loran. 
Some of these other plants you're actually going to need for crafting. So, we're going to definitely need them eventually. I'm going to keep looking around. That Roka actually drops stuff we need. So, this, this area right here is probably one of my favorites because these phantoms are so amazing. They are, uh, their drops are so worth getting if you can get it. And also, oh, there's another one here. Get rid of this guy. Sometimes they can actually uh, spawn an eye after them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we get the phantom soul. So remember earlier I was showing that this is actually used as a crafting recipe. It's, it's probably one of the best crafting recipes because it is used to make not the ring of invisibility, which you do need to make, I believe, but this thing, the ring of ghosts. This thing is probably one of the most powerful rings in this pack. Absolutely insane as it puts you into spectator for about 45 seconds and is just absolutely ridiculous for finding things and and traveling and yeah, looting. It's 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 awesome. I, I, and this is the biome where you find these guys. I'll tell you what, farming these phantoms are a whole lot easier than they were in the previous pack. Wow, in just regular better Minecraft. I think they may have updated the mod because they're so much easier to find now. Maybe that or like, look at this. They're just spawning all over the place. That's a different kind of phantom. Oh, they're, it, when it's enchanted, it shows the entire body. Oh, this is the thing that can happen, by the way. They can spawn an eye. <laughs> all right, I've got to find this guy. Yeah, these level threes. This is awesome because like, I might be able to actually make that ghost ring by the end of the day. Well, if I'm going to do that, I've definitely got to uh, not break these blocks because I think, yeah, I'm going to need all these Titan bones. So I have to break all these bone blocks that are down here. These are actually useful, believe it or not, because they're going to be needed with these phantom souls. And you need quite a few, quite a few of them. Now, another thing that we're going to need are these right here, these life nuggets. Um, and they're found inside of these like squishy soul shrooms. You can just ma basically break the stuff that's inside here. These right here. And as you can see, they drop life nuggets. So you definitely want to grab some of those as well, because that's going to be needed for that craft of the ring. Like I said, I'm, I'm definitely going for the ring at this point, hundred percent going for that ring. Like we, it, we're, we're going to have everything we need for it. So after just, a, I mean, about an hour and a half, now that I know how this dimension and stuff works and where to find all the ore, like this is why it's incredibly easy to get into this dimension early on and just completely wreck because yeah, let's just say finding unknown gems, not really difficult. So long as you have a pick like I have and you just kind of grind through here like this, you're going to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and head back to the base and uh, let's craft up one of the most OP items in this entire pack. So here we go. Let's dive into the crafting rabbit hole that is going to get us one of the most overpowered items, in my opinion. This right here, the ring of ghosts. So we are going to need the ring, which is this thing, which requires a lot of Loran. So keep that in mind. Just to make the base ring, we're going to need eight of these and crafting multiple things inside here repetitively isn't the fastest thing in the world, but it will get us this. This also gets surrounded by it and you get two each time you craft this. And we're going to come back to that here in a minute. But this thing right here, we surround it. We get our base ring and then we need to make that ring of invisibility, but it requires the phantom essence. Remember these Titan bones? Well, we get four of them when we combine them all together here. So hopefully I have enough Titan bones. I don't want to have to go back. Um, so let's go ahead and make the Ring of Invisibility, and I'm not going to be using it either. This is just straight out. I'm also going to go ahead and make all eight of these that I need. So yeah, you have to farm, I believe it's 24 Phantom Essence, but they were spawning so much that I didn't have a problem farming them at all. So right here, you can see eight. Perfect. And all we have to do is make this, and now we have the Ring of Invisibility. Then... <laughs> We need to make these life stones, which is just stone surrounded by those life nuggets. And I told you how to, showed you how to get those. And then we need to make two sets of these. I think the hardest thing for you to find is going to be just the unknown gems. But honestly, like I showed you how to mine for them, and it's really not that hard. Oh, actually, I guess you need less phantom essence because I forgot these, this actually just requires two bottles. And 
Ring of the Ghosts. Uh, absolutely amazing. And we are going to need Stellarite. So, uh, I also ended up mining Stella while I was down there, which is crazy. So we can combine this together. Uh, right, this is uh, four of them, right? Around it. You'd think I would know at this point how to craft these things. <laughs> Eternal Stella, because this does have a durability, but if we, of course, uh, give it the Eternal Stella, we have nothing to worry about as far as repairing it goes. It will be forever, forever to use. Now, I hope you're ready for this. If you haven't watched my regular Better Minecraft Let's Play, you're going to be completely blown away. Here we go. You ready? We have the ability now to go completely into spectator. We have, uh, I think, oh, I guess the scroll wheel functionality was disabled. To be able to go super fast. But <laughs> the, sh the fact that we can do this, what is that? The fact that we can be a ghost right now. What in the world is this? I have no idea what I'm even looking at right now. Some sort of tornado thing. Um, but if you look at the top right hand corner, you can see I have seven seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take me back to the position. It should take me and just drop me where I'm at. But give me a little bit of uh, bad luck, apparently. I think the bad luck is from the dimension. It's kind of locked in there. We still have some invisibility left because it makes us invisible. And there's also damage abilities we have. So we can curse things by pressing X and it will add 0.5 damage to nearby mobs. And then there's fire by pressing C. It will burn entities near me. Yes, this is a incredibly powerful ring that lets you literally go into spectator mode. Like, oh, uh, by the way, oh, it does work. Um, so I, I know why in Spectator we can't scroll wheel to go faster. It's because I have the creative flight um, thing on. Because I noticed that when I was trying to take screenshots. Yeah, it doesn't actually like that. <laughs> so you have to take that off anytime you're going to want to use a scroll wheel. But, I mean, I think it's fast enough. Like, <laughs> this is insane to be able to see through walls. Like, look at this. And we have the night vision, so we can see straight through everything. But keep in mind... Oh, like this. Like, what even is this? Like, we just found a dungeon underground. Like, this is stuff that you wouldn't find normally. Oh, it's from the Eidolon mod. Yeah, look at the lapis and stuff up here. This is... <laughs> why it's incredibly powerful, right? The ability to do that is insane. Finding structures or getting to things quickly now takes absolutely no time at all. And, oh, what a broken item, but I absolutely love it. And I loved it in better Minecraft as well. It's only going to help us propel or it's only going to propel us quicker into getting some really, really crazy, even better stuff. That's going to make us nearly invincible, honestly, at just absolutely insane. So after all of the epicness today, of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that, of course, is going to go to one of my fabulous patrons. Let me go ahead and slap that on a tree and give a huge thanks, if I can spell it right, to, <laughs> if I can spell things right. Oh my goodness, goodness, to Beverly Wise. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on Patreon. And guys, of course, if you are interested in yourself becoming a patron, just like old Beverly, uh, then be sure to check out the links down in the description below. Also, I do live stream over at Twitch, so be sure to check me out there. Of course, that's twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect. Or of course, you can just click on the simple link that's down in the description where all the awesome stuff is, like even the seed and just any information you're probably looking for, it's down there. Also, be sure to join the Discord. We do have an awesome partner Discord, so I'd absolutely love to see you guys over there as well. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'll see you in the next episode. And again, as always, Thanks for watching.